Welcome to Permaculture on Bonaire. This is part one. My name is Roald Bohm, and I started a permaculture garden from scratch in September of 2011. Everything was done in my spare time, in my mornings, my afternoons, and in my weekends. We started really simply with a piece of land. There was nothing there except a few big cactuses. And we started to put by putting a container there, and we made several dams to hold the water that we catch from the rain. Here you can see the big cactuses and the bare ground. We started with building a greenhouse. This one is stuck to a 40-foot container, and it's probably about 20 foot wide. So it gives us a nice little greenhouse to start with. And we started mulching with leaves that were otherwise thrown at the landfill by gardeners. So that started our mulching process. Here you can see the first rainfall in September. And uh, then we go into October of 2011. And uh, basically the second month, we started to plant some babies. And you can see some of the greens put in there. This is an artificial swale that was placed with some good soil. You can see it's doing its job. It's holding the water. This is another angle. The containers by now have been painted. Just to make sure they don't rust too quick because here there's a lot of salt in the air. This is an aerial picture. And on the left you can see an area which we have enclosed with some galvanized sheeting. In the greenhouse we planted some veggies. And on the outside here you can see during October, which is when our rainy season really starts, the things are starting to pick up a bit. You can see some of the greens starting to grow. The coconuts we just throw in the dams, they will just sprout right there and then you can have some coconut trees which we have all over the place now. There is a big dam, it's only a bit of water in there but later on you'll see it fills up in another part. There's a swale, you can see the water, and you can see the mulch behind the swale and all of the stuff that starts growing, some of the banana trees and things. There's another view looking towards the container with the uh, greenhouses. And here's some of the sorghum starting to grow on an island. In potato, sweet potato cuttings. This is our nursery. This is where we basically start all the really tiny babies and then we move it to the bigger um, container afterwards. Some um, compost tea making. This is really a compost tea made out of uh, goat droppings. And we use some molasses as well, as you can see here, some molasses in a, a drum, which we mix in with our um, other stuff, with our other fertilizers. And this is um, now moving into November 2011. Now you can really see the rainy season picking up. You, some sweet uh, potatoes growing between the sorghum and uh, a couple of pumpkins as well. This is our composting area using just pallets. And we can move them from left to right as we turn them around. And on the left there, you can see where we make our soil with some good different soils where we can sift it. Here you can see and three, two more swales have been brought on. And the swales are really doing their job. They're holding the, the moist so that it gets nice and moist. You can see how we're filling in between the swales with leaves. This is another system using an old pipe crate, really from water pipes, copper pipes. And we use that as well for some veggies. Here's some of the first you know, pumpkins that are starting to grow, especially the flowers I like eating. And um, then you see the banana trees, they're growing now. You can see it's quite wet and uh, babies popping up from in between the leaves. Here's a melon or really a watermelon. And these are some of our hunters. These, uh, we used to have three cats, they're mostly gone now, but they used to do some of the lizards and keep the lizards out. Here's the nursery a bit further in December. You can see lots of babies being planted. The islands are basically growing pretty fast. This is an anaerobic system that we use for fertilizer, which uh, is basically without oxygen. And inside the greenhouse, you can see some of the first babies that were from the other greenhouse we put in here, um, growing and some of our vegetables in the sides here. Another vision of the swales, as you can see. And then the dam, as it started to fill up when the rainy season started to drop more water out of the sky. And um, things are getting greener. That's um, another view here. We see one of the swales covered with mulch to make sure that uh, we have no other things growing through it. And that's basically it for the permaculture on part one. Um, I'll try to make part two as quickly as I can. And um, remember, it only takes a first step, so the rest will follow by itself. Just start, even if it's much smaller than this. The first step, that's all you have to take. Hope you enjoyed that, and see you in the next part.